Nice. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Angular's control value accessor. Um, so what is this guy? So here uh, you have a user form. You input a name, you input a rating, um, and then you can submit. You can see a name, Claire stars 3. If you change it to 4, you submit, it's Claire star 4. Okay, for the second form control, instead of using number, you're typing a number, you can use something more creative like this 5 star thing. You can see the form control below. You can type in Claire and star submit. And star form submitted Claire star two. Submit. Star form submitted Claire star four. So instead of using this boring text box, you can use something creative, a customer component. So this control value accessor, the whole idea is to use a custom component like this five star rating thing to replace a standard form control like this test text box okay so how do you implement this um, control value accessor um, it's fairly straightforward uh, first you need to build a component the five star thing so the five star thing here um, I build a five star rating thing there's a number called a rating there's an array of booleans uh, and if the rating is number is say three all the stars from 1 to 3, they are solid. Uh, uh, the remaining stars are star border. Uh, I will not delve into the details of this um, star rating thing because I have another video uh, on this star rating using Angular. Uh, so the whole idea is that in your component, you have something uh, like this 5 star, you hold a value. You want to link this value, like this number 3, to a form control in your parent component replace some boring standard like a text box you need to implement this uh, control value accessor uh, interface so first you just in your component import forward ref control value accessor ng value accessor just don't ask why just do it mechanically and then you add this provider just copy paste the whole code don't ask why okay you don't need to know this is a higher level of abstraction now after you've done that, you need to implement control value accessor. Once you implement it, you need to have three uh, functions um, to be a valid control value accessor. The first one is very important, write value. The write value allows you to change the value of the child component based on some actions on the parent component. Like you form control, uh, you change a value. You can use parent component to change the star numbers. This function serves as a bridge uh, because your child component, the five star thing, you may have a bunch of values defined here. This write value tells Angular that, okay, I'm interested in the number of stars, which is the rating variable. This is a very important uh, write value. You assign the argument to this rating. So this is a bridge to tell Angular, I'm interested in the rating variable of this component. The next function you need to implement is register on change and register on touched. Uh, you have to implement these two guys. Um, so these are called back functions. So whenever something changes on your child component, like when you click on the star, click on the third star, fourth star, whenever something changes, you need to uh, let your parent know that, oh, something changed. So whenever something changes, you will uh, assign this, uh, this on change equals this function. So here, all you need to do is to just pass the value, pass the new rating as an argument to this callback function. You don't have to do anything else. The function here on change is empty. It has only one argument. It doesn't do anything on the side. So as long as you pass the new star rating as an argument to this on change function, your job mission accomplished. Your parent component will know that, okay, something has changed. This untouched basically says, okay, something happened on the child uh, component. The, you click on a star or something, it's no longer untouched. Um, for this example, we do not do anything. Uh, you don't pass anything to the, to the callback function. So that's basically it. Uh, you import forward reference control value accessor, ng value accessor, create a provider, and then you use this write value function to link the local variable rating to your parent so this rating variable is the one you're interested in and then you create these two functions register on change all you need to do is to use this on changed function 
to pass the current rating as an argument. You don't have to do anything. So that's it. And let's look at a template. The template is fairly straightforward. Uh, you can see this this bottom part is the form, uh, this form. You can just use this app star rating as any Angular component and you link the form control called stars uh, to this app star rating component and you're all set. Um, so this code is available on GitHub. Um, feel free to download. I think there are a lot of tutorials that kind of overcomplicate things. Uh, this is a very simple example. Okay, thank you.